Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to jailbreak iOS um, 7.1.2. I am going to show you that it is 7.1.2. Version, you can see, 7.1.2, right, you can see it, so, now, I am going to show you, so first, you're going to need, Pangu, for iOS 7.1, 7.1.x. I think this does work with iPad and iPod, but I'm not too sure, so yeah. Try it out, and if it doesn't work, don't get mad at me. But yeah. So, this is like my 10th try trying this without getting interrupted in the middle of a video. And yeah, so. Then after you set your device time to, um, first you have to launch the Pangu app as an administrator. That's very important. Next, what you need to do is put your iPhone date, set your iPhone time and date, set your date to um, June 2, 2nd June of 2014. So, yeah. So now I'm just gonna press jailbreak and then it should start to say injecting bundles. Please wait. This will take a while, so that's why I put a stand for my iPhone so I don't have to like have, have it like holding it all the time. But I am gonna make the stand a little closer so you can see better. And you can kind of see the text, not a lot, but better than nothing. So yeah, it will take a while. The Pangu app will appear eventually on your device. It just appeared for mine, so it should not take a long time until it appears. So yeah. Don't panic if it doesn't appear like after like two seconds. And yeah. So it's gonna load for a while. By the way, don't do not forget to run as administrator. Because if you don't, then well it won't work. And I'm tell I am saying this a lot because every else everyone is obviously gonna say it's fake it's fake it's fake but yeah run as administrator and everything will work then you don't have to shout at the court in the comments and write it's fake because it's not it's actually real and I have seen lots and lots of fakes out there just to get me to listen, but I am actually not doing this for views. I am doing this for, well, so everyone can learn and, like, actually jailbreak their phone. And not have the Apple restrictions. And I am not doing this for subscribers or views or money. And I am not doing this for views because if I was then I don't know but I just want everyone to get entertained and watch my videos I want my con I want to make my content the best as possible so yeah Please leave a like, well, if you enjoyed the video. Okay, so it just said right now that please tap on the Pangu app. So I am tapping, going to tap on the Pangu app right here. 
Oops, not delete. Alright, so I tapped on the penguin app. It will say a message. It will say blah blah blah. Do you wanna do you wanna open this app and just press yes? And it will say keep the device connected and do not close the app and it will put http pangu.io but that's you don't need that. Just don't turn your device off. If like if it has like auto lock, don't you don't have to disable it, but it's best to um it is best to like disable it, but like I didn't disable it, so you can just tap on the screen. Oh, and by the way, please watch the entire videos because I will say some information throughout the whole video. And yeah, because some people just skip to the end, see if it works because like I don't know, people are weird. Because, like, they want to see if it works, but, like, they just have to, like, edit and stuff. That's pretty easy to edit, like, something that looks real, but, yeah. Oh, and by the way, you, the Pangu is version, you go on the internet, search Pangu 1.2.1. And by the way, I know a lot of people, like, have their device, like, iOS 9 and stuff, but I'm just making this... Cause like there's a lot of people that are iOS 7.1.2 and like don't know how to jailbreak and like they're stuck with that because they don't know how to but they're stuck with the Apple restrictions and they do they want to jailbreak but there's not much videos coming out for how to jailbreak and a lot of are that a lot of them are fake so that's why I decided to make this video because there are a lot of people who still have an iPhone 4 it's one of the most popular iPhones like it was way better than, it had a lot of improvements since the iPhone 3G and it was really fun, really cool really fun to use and really simple iPhone 2G on iOS 1 had no app store and yeah, it had a lot of bugs. So yeah, iPhone 4 was a big improvement and a lot of people, some people didn't just want to buy a new phone because their phone worked perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but pretty good, right? And like they still wanted to keep it because like their iPhone wasn't really slower that much. Well, it was slower, but there's a lot of tricks to make faster like like activate reduce motion or something like that I, I think it's reduced motion but yeah so stay throughout the whole video and yeah so now I'm gonna like wait a little soon it will say like rebooting device it will reboot your device, so don't worry about that. Like, if you you can just disconnect your and the device if you don't feel like it anymore, if you like jailbreaking anymore, and like it won't like affect your device. There's a typo in disconnect, but that's fine to me. Because it it has no C, but it's not because like it's fake or something. It makes that noise, I guess. For I don't know. It makes that noise for me every time I jailbreak, like the I jailbreak in another iPhone, the one I'm using right now to film. Yeah, so I. I do not have like a full setup of cool stuff. I have like a family computer. Like these are my parents' iPhone. Well, the first, the one that I'm filming with is, well, 
the one I'm filming with is used to be my mom's, but now she has a new one. Same for my dad, but he didn't give. He didn't. Give, he still uses it a bit, but like he wanted me to jailbreak because he has things. He wants to put. A, he wants to unlock his device. If you don't know what unlocking a device means, is basically unlocking. Well, basically, it allows you to have more a uh, carrier. Well, it allows you to put SIM cards from different carriers. Okay. So. Oops. Sorry. So now you are going to face this, and it will say slide to unlock. Slide to unlock, and it, now it says process, processing jailbreak files, and yeah, so then, just gonna rearrange. This okay, it just said like storage almost full on my iPhone. Don't worry. I'm sorry if you can't really see the text. Like I can't really focus that better. Alright, it says this by the way. Wait, 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 my battery is low. Sorry about that. All right. Now it's done. Apparently. It will reboot. I think. Now. Look, it has like this logo on it. Well not logo but. Thing. And it, it says done on the screen. I don't know if you can see. And. I just disconnected my phone. So. I don't know if I disconnected it too fast. If I disconnected it too fast, I will be mad. Well, not a little mad. So, let me just reconnect my phone. And if you did it right, it should say that your phone is jailbroken already. I am gonna wake up my phone by like pressing buttons and stuff. It shouldn't make it faster. Okay. Detected a new device. That's what it says. And soon, if it worked, it will say device already jailbroken. Already jailbroken, as you can see. So guys, it worked. I am gonna show you sitting it though, because lots of people just edit it a little. And yeah, sometimes, never mind. So it is still on this page. Hopefully I don't run out of storage before I even can end the video. If I do, don't worry. Alright, so let's find out. Now it says the original date, so don't worry about that. You can just reset it to normal if you want. It says like 1st October, which this video is. Which I'm making the, the time I'm making the video now. And Cydia. Okay. By the way, this is not fake. And thanks for a lot for watching. And it will load your screen like that, I believe. I don't know, it does that for me. And yeah, guys.
Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay tuned.